New at 5.30, a first-of-its-kind program at a historically black college kicked off today in Miami Gardens. The Miami Dolphins teaming up with Florida Memorial University for a new trade program in the high-demand field of construction. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn tells us more about it. When people think about construction, some think about labor, but this program really tells us about planning to build up success. The author was saying to me, Ann McNeil, how much money do you want? Ann McNeil is one of the instructors of the program. She's a general contractor, CEO of MCO Construction and Services. She also runs a number of other companies. I say, you know, I've never been asked that question before. Let me tonight for the first time think about the answer to the question. It's not how much you want to make. It's how much money you want in a set time frame. That's part of the lesson in planning for success. It also takes commitment. And this is how knowledge in construction can help with upward mobility. I'm 32 years old. I work for the United States Postal Service. Antonia Bennett used to be a local mail carrier. She's now in maintenance and not one to be complacent. I'm trying to learn the construction trade that will help me with the electrical part of the maintenance. This course is free. It runs 12 weeks. If that wasn't the case, would you still feel that you would be here? No, not really. <laughs> Bennett and so many others like her have struggled to find an opportunity like this. They don't have funds. Uh, they can't do what they want to do because they limit it to what they can do. And now this program offers a chance to meet leaders in construction and potential employers. I wanted to be in the medical field. The longevity of school, which turned me off. But crazy enough, I love continuing education. So she's here learning about electrical construction. So take two spaces in a panel. That's what we're talking about. So we have four of those. Of course, some of the material will take time to master, but there are so many avenues to take. And I wasn't laid off, but it made me want to explore more. It made me want to have more opportunities in case anything happened with that. And it's another chance to go big. And then I'm going to work it backwards and help you understand how will the construction trade help you get that number at some point in time in the future. And McNeil says the hardest part of this program may be changing one's mentality. In Miami Gardens, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News. Learning new skills so vital these days. Absolutely.